the idea, first of all, is that if my glutes are firing to drive me forward, I should be upright. So what the first part of this is we're just having it waist height, I'm just going to take little steps forward. The minute there's too much resistance, my body may have a tendency to do this. What am I doing? I'm showing you my pattern. I'm showing you how I cheat. I, you know, what I actually have to do to drive myself forward when my glutes aren't working. So I need these glutes working. So right now, I'm not quite feeling it. I've got it in a slightly wrong place. There we go. Now my glutes are talking to me. So it's, and it's that cycle. Oh, there they are. Boom. And I might walk forward to a place where that's the resistance I'm looking for. Unless the bed's coming with you, I'm not worried. It's, and the funny thing is, you know, people get caught up in this whole concept of, okay, more, give me more. Keep it simple. Like, last year, I Jack Nicholas in this, and I couldn't get him out of it. Because for we, we, we did all the exercises that I'm going to show you and activations in it. And then he's standing like this, talking to me. And I'm going, Jack, you can get out now. He goes, are you kidding me? I don't think I've felt my butt for 40 years. <laughs> okay, can't argue with that. Now, I understand, this is a man who's maybe playing one round of golf a week because he had to. Suddenly, because the body was shutting down, and, he, and, and suddenly, finding this again, the body was opening up and allowing itself to do what it needs to do. Three months ago, he shot a 68 at the Bears Club. He's 70 odd years old. It's, you know, that's kind of an amazing thing. But he's doing his activations every day. And he's on his back. So, the first thing. So, even if I just say, this is all I need to do with my client. Now, it seems really simple. I just get them standing. Okay, oh, there are my glutes. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. But, that's not where we're going today. Because the glutes are the muscle of thrust, what we're going to do is we're going to let it be that. So, I'm opening my, my base a little bit. This is quite a slippery floor, so it could be quite interesting. I'm going to have my arms up, but I'm going to have my arms relaxed. <laughs> I want the hands relaxed. So although they're out, it's just so that it gives us an indication that we're not doing back extensions and silly things. So we've got hands nice and relaxed. We're dropping back. And you see back, knees are bending. But the knees are not, this is not a squat. And if I squat, by the way, it's going to try and pull me over. So it's allowing it to take you back. Pull. And pull. It's so simple, but it is driven by the glute. So if you see someone going in this, <coughs> you're trying to drive it from here and here. If, when you're doing this, you're standing here, you're feeling the glutes, but when you're going there and you're doing the thrust, you kind of go, oh, I can still feel my back a little bit. All I want you to do then is engage 10% of the abs, just to hold the position here, because we're trying to change habits in the body. So it'll just be a tiny hole. Most of you won't need that. But just if you see someone going into that, that nice little extension pattern, then I have no choice. But yeah, I do that, I drive it from my back and it hurts. I want it driven from my glutes there, there. So if I just need a tiny bit of tightness there, tight 10%, no more. This is not a lock, because then my quads are going to try and pull with it, which will be uncomfortable. So we'll do about five, making sure that you get the technique right. Then because now we're in a different position because now we have I'm standing so I have gravity, I have ground reaction force, I have all these other things so the function of the body changes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reactivate I'm going to go one two no, two sorry three and then I'm going to do the same thing again and because you've already got a before now of what it felt like You'll probably be going, oh wow, huh, oh that's easy. And you might even step further forward. Because that's the idea. Now, this is not about how much resistance can you do. This is about can you find where your glutes are. So, I, I, I was amazed with the Miami Dolphins because when I first started developing this and playing with this, I really thought it was going to be, okay, and I'm going to keep making bigger resistance. And, and I made quite a serious one that I took with them, to them. And I could walk four meters in it, because I knew where my glutes were. Their biggest guy could walk two meters. But at two meters, they start dropping. And, but because their egos get involved and want to get to the four meters, they can't help but come forward, which means we lose the, the, it's the mindset. Remember, it's all about getting a feeling in the body. What does it feel like? Oh, 
there are my glutes. Not, yeah, let's go, because the minute I have to do that, I'm probably going to try and engage other things, because my ego is driving it. Don't want the ego here. Just, there's my glutes. Very nice feeling. The more the glutes work, the more the psoas can work, because they're also partners. Remember, it works both ways. If the psoas can shut down the glute, the glute can wake up the psoas. So they work together. That's a nice part about this. So then you can do a few more just to get that feeling. In the, in the actual pamphlet bit that's in your, in your notes, you'll see then, then we take the golfers and we put the golf club and we get them swinging. Because the interesting thing is, if I don't use my hips first, it pulls me over backwards. If I, which is very common, either lose my glute connection there, I lose it there. These are the guys who slice. Here are the guys that whoop, hook. So you can analyze in two seconds what someone does on the golf course and not even be there. It really bugs the golfers. Because it's like, oh, oh, so you hit like this. Yeah. But, but I just, well, that's what has to happen. Because you're losing the integrity through their brain. You don't need to. And so if, if we've done the thrusting and we get the swing going and, you, and they're losing it there, what I'll tend to do is ping them. So let's say I'm losing it. I'll go get in there quite strongly. You'll find there's a little bit of point. And then suddenly they'll go again and it's like, oh. And now they know. And now they, the body's learning to hold the integrity through the swing. I have fighters who we put two in a ring or on a bag where they're going to spar because it teaches you to go into your hips. But any, any sports, but, does, but, but here's the one we're going to do, again these damn jeans. We're then going to have a little one like this where we're just holding. So the psoas is holding on the one side while the glute is holding on the other. You're only going to do it for two seconds on each side and just holding. And the idea here, and again, knowing that your foot is loose, not you can have your arms out, whichever, look at that, put my arms out and I lose it. Um, and what that's doing is teaching the body to integrate on so as driving on one side while the glute is doing the other, which is kind of a lot like walking and running and a whole lot of function that we do in life. So again, it's just training the body. If we keep it to that simple today, because there's a lot more we can do. We, we get guys in the gym standing doing upper body work. Remember our handshake yesterday? So I'm already engaging my glutes. So when I do my handshake, it's already strong. When I do any upper body activity here, I'm already engaging my whole foundation into the movement. So if I'm doing biceps, curls, or shoulder work, it's all different already. So we start to get that into the gym doing that. So it becomes part of the rehab process. Because this is getting sores and glutes, this is the primary thing I do with rehab with anyone, no matter what their problem is, because it will free up shoulders. That's the other thing, is that suddenly it's getting like, where did Pierre go? This, this becomes bloody important for you. He's had a shoulder problem since he was 18. And we just pinged him a little bit on his, on his sores and then did something into his lateral sling, which we're going to do a bit later. And suddenly, so I don't know if you guys saw him doing this. <laughs> it's just because, crap, I can do it. Or he hasn't been able to, what you said about 90 was your limit? Yeah, and the cooking activity. Yeah. But yeah, can't really do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 As soon as there's a weight into it. Yeah. And the thing is, because when you go here, it's driven by this. It's exactly what we did this morning. So, when this is locked, suddenly this thing, oh, here it is. Now, here's the most beautiful thing about what happens afterwards. And this is, what have I been saying to you all along? It's all about the feeling. When I, about... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, thrust. <laughs> the thrust gives you the feeling. <laughs> when you step out of the bungee, because the body suddenly goes, the glue. When you walk. Everything has its freedom. Power. Not, well, power is such an interesting concept you because know, power is not her. No, but you feel more yes. empowered in a way. Imp no, completely. No, 100% there. But the drive is suddenly from here, and you suddenly realize walking is a totally different thing. Motion is a totally different thing. 